guys, welcome to my junk room. Um, where I live, my bedroom is quite small. It's only a bit bigger than this room, um, but this room is unlivable. So this is why I get to store things in it. I live with two other people and their bedrooms are three times the size of mine. So that's why I get this room to store all my, all my miscellaneous belongings. And it's also the kitten's room. I've got the seeds that I'm going to be planting for in the month of March, so let's plant them. This year I'm hoping to grow sweet corn again, that was quite successful last year. I've got some cucumbers which I also grew last year, two types, no three types of courgettes, some purple curly kale, basil, fingers crossed I'll be able to grow that because I have a really bad track record with basil, um, lettuce and some purple pak choy. Here I've got some peas which I love. I'm excited for those, and I've got some lettuce. So this is going to be quite experimental because I'm going to try some in the polytunnel and out. I've got some purple cabbage. I have no idea how well this will go, but we'll find out. I've got some carrots, lots of sunflowers, and then some peppers. So I can't believe this actually started growing. It's actually a little plum tree seedling. Last summer, I'd walk past a plum tree on the way to the tiny house, and I'd often eat the plums, which are really sweet. And I thought I'd try and grow one. So a few YouTube tutorials later, I've ended up with this. I cracked open the seed, left it in the fridge, and it turned into a little seedling. So I kept three little plum seeds. The first one is now completely dead. This was the second, which may or may not recover. And this is the third one. I'm coming to think that maybe now my bedroom is too warm and they're currently now in the corridor where it's a lot cooler. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this one survives. And this one is my little clementine seedling. So hopefully fingers crossed this one survives, but this one quite likes being in my bedroom where it's warm. This a lemon tree, I'm kind of thinking that I should really repot it now, but I'm kind of worried that if I do so it might die, but I do need to do something with it, maybe give it a trim. But yeah, I know it's looking rather well considering I grew that from a little lemon seed about four or five years ago now. Okay, so this is my avocado seedling. Now these leaves aren't very happy at all. I'm not sure if it's like a potassium deficiency, but I think I might take those off, but I'm quite pleased that it's managed to grow new, have some new growth. But yeah, this is my second avocado tree because my first one got knocked off the windowsill by my cats. So I've moved all my vegetables and plants into these bigger pots because they've overgrown their, li their little original pots. So there's not much room here to film because it's not much room, but I will try and go through what I have here. So I've got sweet corn. This did quite well last year, so fingers crossed it. I get lots of corn and cob this year. Here are some courgettes. 
I think I left them in their pots too long so they've gone a bit leggy hopefully they might recover but I do a few here I have some carrots which I haven't transplanted just because they're quite delicate and I thought I'd leave them like that now these are quite interesting these are some mystery beans I had in my kind of seed box and I thought I'd just plant them and see what, ha what would happen and this is what I've been left with I have a slight feeling they might be edamame beans because I know, I know my sister gave me some seeds so I think that's what they are here I have my first row of sunflowers something which I have a lot of here I have some peas which I hope do well and at the end I have some cabbage and then over there on the windowsill I have some tomatoes which we'll see what they do and up here I have this is the basil I left it like that just because it's quite tiny at the moment so I thought I would leave it until it got a bit bigger over there I have some pak choy we'll see what that we'll see how that grows this section here is cucumber so hopefully that will grow like it did last year in here I've got some catmint but it hasn't done anything yet so I'm dubious as to if it will or not I have some more sunflowers there I had quite a few sunflower seeds and I thought I'd just plant them all and that's what I've been given so yeah, at the back there I have some more sunflowers they all, they've um, also gone a bit leggy so I don't know what's going to go there but I thought I'd just transplant them all anyway so we'll see what happens here is some lettuce at the back there that little cluster is kale and here is a different type of lettuce so there's quite a lot of vegetables and plants to be going along with hopefully they survive and they don't get assaulted by the beast yes yes nosy so yeah 